Myers. Hi, this is Yvette Nicole Brown. Jillian Jacobs. Oh Joel uh, Allison Brie. Dan Harmon. Jeez, here we go. And this is digital estate planning. This is uh, it's listed as 322, but it's actually like 319 or 320, and something like that. This is the first time we're that I've seen it, yeah. that I'm seeing it, Yvette's seen it, Dan has obviously seen it. Giancarlo Esposito. I stalked him on set. I uh, brought my School Days DVD and begged him to sign it. Did he? He did. What did he sign it? He signed it, I love you, something like that, um, his name. And his daughter was a fan of Drake and Josh, so that kind of made me less scary to him, I think. <sighs> I'm so, I'm so hungover. <laughs> this guy's a great actor. No, <laughs> he really is. He got That's hired. You. Dan, what did you drink last night? Oh, wait, I just put in myself. I drank all the vodka. Giancarlo got, nom got this job, I think, a, the day before, and... Um, was supposed to be on the set of Once, a, Once Upon a Time, the show he does on ABC, and they let him come and do Community, and he had reams of dialogue that he was totally off book for, and I felt like such a loser because I had, like, three lines and didn't know any of them. Also, just his schedule, like, he had to bend over backwards and shout out to his daughter, his name I can't remember, because she had to share him. I mean, I, th I think that it was her time to have with him, and, uh, and he had to donate it to us. Yeah, he was taking her to Once Upon a Time. Let's begin. This will air, well, I guess it will. Oh, oh look at that. That's Cute. awesome. <laughs> Cute. Is this the first episode they're airing next Thursday? Uh, yes. Yes. This takes place between, it's really a one-off, but we... We had to decide we were going to do it long before we knew exactly what was going to be happening in the continuity of the show. We, were cute. we sort of designed it. We knew that the students would be expelled. So we, we sort of designed it to function as a one off, regardless of where you put it in the, run, uh, in, the, in the run of the season. As it turns out, because of the continuity of the Troy issue, or Troy is uh, uh, abducted, so to speak, by the air conditioning repair school, this, this has to come before. Uh, 320 and 321. Mm. Um, otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense because Troy's here. Oh, and at one point, this was scheduled to air after that. And then they split it, I think. Oh, this the rape line was still in there. That was before the change was made. That's right. It won't be in her. I mean, what's, what's the new line? Sex. Sex, yeah. We, we, we ADR'd this the other day. Before being taken, we should hang back and study their tactics. Is he raping Joel's character right yes, now? Yes, I'm being sex raped with Joel right and now. apparently contracting. Sex They're doing right. whatever hippies do. I love that. <laughs> Pierce is just wrong. He can't get out the corner. It's uh, reminiscent of the uh, scene at the bar where Pierce was stuck in the wheelchair mm -hmm. in the breezeway. I'd play this game. Did this? Dan, did this make the episode more expensive or less expensive with this stuff? I think this is just right on the nugget. I think that's the that was the justification for it. It oh. was it, by putting us back on schedule because the only live action components were able to be shot in a couple of days. How mm. long did it take to do this? All the rendering? Uh, I did, you know, I don't know. Hmm. I, I don't know what software they used. I don't know. This is the studio is Titmouse. Is that really him? Back? Yes, that's Larry Cedar from oh, Deadwood. Mm -hmm. Larry Cedar, who is uh, basically Finn. You're basically Finn. <laughs> Swedish dog. Her name is Britta. Only one player can win. The first to reach my throne inside Castle Hawthorne. Their reward, Pierce, will be your inheritance. So, your inheritance. so you see, Pierce, turns out you were right. Video games are important. <laughs> Worst son ever! Well, great. If this episode sucks, if you think it sucks, it's my fault. I, uh, because but I, what if they think it's awesome? Well, then it's the, then who cares? I don't care. I bought a house. But yeah. if you think it sucks, I it's my fault. The buck stops here. I feel like my biggest crime script wise is that it doesn't, it's not active enough as a story. I don't know. Like the second act is they go shopping. There's a lot of funny moments in it, but I feel like I, if I had, if I had done it on time and properly, we could have really had a lot of fun with this episode. Probably the third act is the worst because it's like you're watching people barf lava on things and just I don't know it seems like 
Uh, I feel like barfing lava <laughs> is a much bolder move than many television shows would ever even attempt. Well, as we always like to say here at Community, our worst episodes are better than everything on TV. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> eat it, other TV. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm watching a lot of hillbilly hand fishing these days, and it is incredible. Have you seen that show? Yeah. <laughs> Hillbillies <laughs> reaching the holes and rivers. Do you want to just talk about that? I love hillbilly hand fishing. I want to say how comfortable these chairs were. We don't have a lot of comfortable places to sit on set because everything's from, like, 1972, yeah. all the furniture. But these chairs were delightful. They were luxurious. They, were very, they really were luxurious. And they would have, they're, would be great for my kids because that stuff, what was it, vinyl? Mm -hmm. But it, was just, it mm -hmm. could have wiped up. Oof. Oh, that's true. You could wipe it really clean. Yeah. And we each had our own little cubicle. I would just hide in my little cubicle when we weren't working. And you couldn't see, you didn't know if anyone was no, in those No, you cubicles. couldn't tell. You couldn't hear anybody else. They had like a soundproofing foam and yeah. it was great. The set was beautifully done. I and they live... built that really quick. Oh, they built it overnight, I think. Yeah. I, I like to find places to hide on set, like little quiet corners. I'll take a chair and hide. You must somewhere. have been in hog heaven in the blanket for it. Oh, yeah, I didn't work much that episode. Just let me die. Pierce, so Gilbert knows a couple tricks. Big deal. We outnumber him. I like dark, quiet places, like caves. We're fighting for friends. Like I, I, where, where Pierce is right now is where I would find if that was set. <laughs> just crawl I think that should be the home. name of your book is Dark, Quiet Places. Dark, place. Quiet Places. Did you just kill him? Did you just kill I him? I just accidentally killed him. Everybody keep Pierce protected. We have to get him to the throne of Hawkthorn before Gilbert. And don't forget, when you die, you go all the way back to the study room. So, don't die. Good pep talk, Jeff. Yeah, I used to love dying, but that speech really turned me around. Whatever. What's that? Kill it! It's a girl milking a cow, Pierce. I'll check it out. I owe Jeff that. I wasn't gonna say it. I'm Hilda. I live in the village. Lesbian. Shh. I can help with that. I have information on many topics. Cool. The tradition castle Hawkthorn, north of here. You unlock the castle with the white crystal of discipline, which you must free from the black caverns. I'm picking up on some hidden symbolism. Right, white crystal. You think Dad wasn't a meth? You can usually get supplies in a town like this. Man, why can't my mom be here? She always said my video game knowledge would come in handy. I never believed her. Everybody split up and take a hut. Our only chance of beating Gilbert is to cover more ground. I have information on the following topics. Holy crap, where have you been my whole life? I buy and sell weapons and I love this, uh, this in the scene that comes after in this cottage with, uh... Shirley and Annie is so funny to me. Was Hilda played by a different actress, Dan? <laughs> well, we're we're watching like a temp cut of this, where all all the voices of all these computer characters are my voice. Oh, is that what this is? They'll be synthetic. They'll be like a Mac Apple Talk kind uh, of. Uh, what do you call it? Stephen Hawking kind of voice. Right. I'm in love with these little characters. They're I adorable. I think they're adorable. I love, I love Troy in this episode. Is, 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 and that's, that credit goes to the animators for that. Um, they, Troy is constantly jumping. Like he's, he's, <laughs> he he can't stop still. moving. He never... There's personality to the characters in, in terms of what they're doing with the buttons that, that, that they're pressing, you know, like... That's especially true with Troy. Like, they really had a handle on, on what would Troy be doing the whole time, and the answer is he's just he'd constantly be doing something. He's he's crawling while he's talking, and he's on he's on a, he's on the roof. <laughs> Wait, oh crap! We missed the. I mean, this, this is definitely is so the funniest, funniest crap I've ever seen. <laughs> Why are they naked? Why are they naked and pixelated? What happened? They lost in and poker. Look at, they look at their bodies. <laughs> you have to pixelate. You even have to pixelate that kind of a penis. And why are the boobs bouncing when they girls walk? There's a lot of stuff happening in this. This is me just making crap up. I just, I just wrapped production, and I, I got another script to write. Oh my! What an unexplained tragedy. The scene that we talked over the. When Shirley Shirley grabs an axe and says, "I'll go upstairs and check for more family." Shirley's going <laughs> Don't to give murder. Me that look, these are your loose ends. I'm just tying, tying them up. up. I'm just tying them up. Yeah, gonna... She is going to murder the rest of the family. That's definitely 
<laughs> I hope not in a bad way, but that's definitely the first thing you think of is the chloroform scene with yeah, uh, Annie, is. Troy, and Abed. It's a, I love, uh, I'm a huge Gene Wilder fan. Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, like, getting into hijinks. Gene Wilder was so good at, like, his specialty was some, the shit would hit the fan and he would just, the comedy was his reaction to right, it. Right, to what happened. What's going on? What's yeah. happening? <laughs> um, and, and I just, some of Community's greatest, like, slapstick moments are because the actors are so great and they, 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 they capture that Gene Wilder thing. It's like Shirley saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then, <laughs> and then but, immediately but then her immediately converting to homicidal maniac because it doesn't take much for Shirley what's, anyway. She's always on edge. Eva, what's the line you say? I'm gonna go check for more family. I'm a, I said uh, I'm gonna check for more family and don't give me that look. These are your loose ends. I'm just tying them up. That sounds like a it's gonna be in the NBC sh store at some point. <laughs> These are your loose ends. I went to the NBC store. There's a huge community. There um, is a nice kiosk or a little section. And apparently the uh, Troy Nob in the morning mugs, they cannot keep in stock. They're, wow. pro they're probably making a billion dollars. I wonder when they're going to pay them some royalties for that because their faces are on those mugs. What do, yeah, what do we, I think we get. Uh, I put on some magnets. I'm trying to figure out when that check's going to come. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get. At least $5 is coming. Maybe we get a, a catered lunch. Something. Work or something. <laughs> something. The thir third season commentary is just us bitching about that. <laughs> <laughs> so like these guys are gonna now what the people at home. Listen, here's, here's for, the deal. For first season first season DVD, I'm doing every commentary. And I'm like, here's the thing. I, I'm like Quentin Tarantino. Well, when you're trying to do a show, you wanna broaden the audience's mind. And you have to respect respect for the audience. The third season we're like, this fucking I remember this scene. I just want some lunch. I didn't have enough chairs. <laughs> yes. well, there's a weird thing at Paramount. We have a walk away lunch. Right. You guys get an hour, the girls get 30 minutes. Isn't there some scam yeah. with the Wolfgang Pucks? Like, doesn't Sony have a Wolfgang Pucks on the Sony lot? I wish and they, they had a Wolfgang. They do? They They're nodding yes. Those, in the whenever we have a table booth. read, they cater it. It's good. And, it, and it, they take like three grand off the budget for it or something. Oh, you're kidding? Oh. It's, oh, it's, are, it's, all that food comes with Wolfgang Pucks? Strictly Halliburton. Total scam. Shut up, Pierce. Okay, Doc. Stay ducked. There's Pierce's. Okay, I've never. Oh, I forgot the uh, wheelchair boat. I think those are fried chicken legs. This is a racist cave. I know. I don't know what's more offensive, the actual racism or the. Why is that racist? A lot of people eat fried chicken. What's your I, point? Well, what's my point? Well, there's jive turkeys no, no, no. coming. That's a little. No, no, those. those but racist. those pieces of chicken actually don't like Asian people. Jive. How did you know they were? Oh, because they're jive turkeys. Do they have afros? Yeah. Is that why they're? Oh, that's bad. No, I didn't notice that. Also, because it says on the script. I thought they were wearing turkeys. helmets. It really does remind me of Joust, though. Anything. Oh, I love Joust. I loved Joust. Was... Oh, I wonder if there's an app, a Joust app. I love Joust. I'm sure there must be. I'm telling you, I could land, I could pop those eggs like nobody's uh, business. I never joust. got good at that game. Oh, I, I got good so at good Defender, at but I could not... coast. I could coast so good in Joust. I always, ever when I, whenever I thought I would get confident in that game is when I would. I would oh, I was so good in Joust. That was my, that was my game. I like, I like Joust. Oh. You got decapitated with a banana. Oh, no. What the hell, Gilbert? You're cheating! Which I have no problem with. <laughs> That's a weird run. Yeah, so, <laughs> well, was hey, very slick. The Hugh floor, Jackman Broadway well, Yes, the floor was... <laughs> I'm not, if, if you had tried... I think a combination of my shoes and that floor, it would have been way really, more embarrassing. Really I would have <laughs> I would have looked like Roadrunner. I would have just like... <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a lot... It yeah, was, it's, it, was, it was... It was hard to get out from the thing, try to gain see, some was, speed. Yeah, no, it was good. It was, it was, uh, it was a valiant it's effort. pretty embarrassing. Just tell me that reminded you of Jason Bourne. <laughs> it was a little bit like it was like Jason Bourne. Oh. So shut up and play the game. Warning. Five seconds still play. I bruised right his arm right there. Okay, look. I know things seem hopeless because he's all the way to the castle with the crystal, and we're starting over. But here's the thing. I love all the variations in our skin colors. Like they just did ran out of colors when it got to Annie. Well, Allison. you know, Cho, the only the only one of you that that had a note on the likenesses. Uh, it was Chevy. He uh, he didn't because originally his character had a gray corpse-like kind of uh, <laughs> tone, and he demanded it be pink and and and, and, and healthy, vivacious. And oh, he, dem he made the demand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, That's great. That's funny. 
I demand I look at look at the rest of these characters. Do you think do you think you guys if you if you felt like you wanted to be trouble you could have had had some notes like but you know here at community we we say yes and to everything. That was his note. I want. You, you see in interviews when he when he says like I'm not Pierce I'm not like Pierce isn't funny it was just like 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 that's exactly what Pierce would do he would look at that avatar and he would go make him pink and 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 beautiful <laughs> like, because then then I'm gonna conquer death that's 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 I just have to do that one thing and then I'm gonna live forever like make him pink it doesn't make that any will, sense it's so funny and amazing the more people at home are like. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope it's there's something in here for you at home. What can we make with it? That depends. I love that when Shirley walks, she she pulls her little dress apart or her skirt to the side. I think that's very ladylike. <laughs> in a in a game. I enjoy it. I think that. when she's kind of bobbing, it like when she was dancing, yeah, when she was concerned. Just... She had her skirt out. Oh, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a nice uh, character decision. I think you might be Gilbert Lawson. Is this true? I just think this whole third act got away from me. Why? Well, you're wrapping it up, aren't you? I don't know. It's just weird. This guy's saying, using the word misogynist. And... It's never stopped community before. Being we should run <laughs> this. We should run this commentary during the episode next this week. Just an odd. <laughs> I'm kind of glad this is airing at eight o'clock as part of a three three episode finale after they pick this up for 13 for the first season they like okay, now I don't have to worry as much because this is just an odd episode to I don't know inflict if they on people really got his skin tone right he looks a little olive greenish instead of yeah it's just my perception goodbye no I'm your son I'm sorry Gilbert I always knew you disappointed I mean what are we supposed to be doing here crying <laughs> you know, I think you just take the ride with community. I don't think you really try to figure it out. You know, <laughs> people that have made it this far in the season and into the series, they're just, they're in for the ride. And then we got, then you if got, you then just joined us, Yvette Nicole Brown is pitching community's appeal to me. She's <laughs> saying, it's not, don't kill yourself over this. You did the best you could under the circumstances. And it's just one of 22. It's one of 22. You can't win them all. Oh, so put I'm that saying. on a t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Gillian. <laughs> Gillian, you are amazing in this episode. She's just enjoying the show. <laughs> We've never seen this. Are you mesmerized by Gillian? I am. Stinkies, stinker tons. Why do you guys call Gillian stink? I'll never tell. Many, many people, better men than you, sir, have asked. I've never answered. Huh. Paul McCartney asked. <laughs> yeah, Paul McCartney's who asked. Who asked? Wouldn't even tell. It's really boy, just boy. a nickname. Like, I don't really have a reason for calling you Stank, do I? People assume it's because I fart a lot. That's not true. That's not <laughs> true at all. We do share a trailer, though. We have a, a wall that separates our bathroom, so it could be. <laughs> that We've reason. had uh, those split trailers for three years. Yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. We all... And we Joel, all... I can. I know when Chevy is... Um... <laughs> me and Gillian knock on the wall when we're in the bathroom. We'll, knock, we'll talk through the wall to each other. Uh, me and Gillian share a trailer. Joel and... And Chevy share a trailer. Uh, Donald and Ken share a trailer. And Allison and Danny share a trailer. Jim gets his own. Jim has his own because he won an Oscar. <laughs> Look at this. Can you imagine if you're flipping through channels and you saw this on your screen? Well, not this currently, but like, what? I, what am I doing? If I saw this, I would stop. And then I would go like, what is this? And then we, and then we get a 1.3 and we act like we're underdogs. Oh, it's right. a it's a pixelated cartoon of like a Colonel Sanders guy. Well, guess like, what? <laughs> if you don't like it, you got 13 more to make it better. Every time they give us latitude, I abuse it. Well, stop. I, stop I need to just make it. a sitcom. Just make a sitcom. That's the choice. Make it. I think it's wonderful that in a country as advanced as ours, we have the technology to entertain people millions yes. at a time with... Um, Comedy entertainment. Yeah. And the good people that bring you the equipment and the, uh, the resources yep. to do that should be thanked at this time. When do we thank Sony, for instance, I think we for should. providing us with quality television? I thank them every day. Now? They pay my paycheck. Thank you, Sony. Yeah. Thank you, NBC.
I'm still disappointed about my running. <laughs> <laughs> that was... I'm really sorry I pointed it out, but it was so funny. It looked like it looked I was really a, funny. I feel like it was a duck. That needs to be a like, gift. It, it like will a, be. Somebody Don't will worry. make it a gift. It'll I think it will gift. be. What are they? What are those things when they take a little piece of video? Yeah, yeah. a gift. It'll be oh, a gift. A gift. G I F. Oh, see, a I'm gift old. File. <laughs> I like that expression. I like Britta. Those moments, like what, those little faces you were making <laughs> while you were listening to him talk about skeepers, and you're like, I. I it's the little things with Brad. I, I love the way he talked about the mic. He's like, there is a place that sells margaritas <laughs> in a glass. Yard it was marks. So great. Yard marks. I'm allowed to say this is going to be the tee up for the tag. Like, I'm not, like, there's nothing libelous about saying that there was a feud, a quote unquote feud between me and Chevy because he walked off the set of What was the, the tag going to be? Yeah, well, I don't remember. What was it going to be? It was going to be Danny showing him the uh, a, a version of the video game that he created with the code that he downloaded where it's just Chevy uh, playing catch with his dad's head and every time the baseball uh, is thrown back and forth, he gets a thousand points and his dad says, good job, son, I'm proud oh, of you. Sweet. And then Chevy just hugs Danny and it's just silent and it just fades to black. It would have been a mm. nice ending. That's great. Thing. This is, I want to say, this is one of our cameraman and DP's A baby. camera. Well, no, he, did, he filled in one oh, day yeah, and did DP one day. DP. Yeah, that's uh, Charlie. That's Toddy's daughter, Charlie. And his wife. Is that his oh. wife? I couldn't mm -hmm. see her face. Thanks, everybody.